Hello, everybody. Welcome into another Talking Fitchburg update. It is Friday, April 17th, 2020. I'm Jeremy Crosby from my home, uh, practicing that social distancing uh, as uh, we give you the update as we head into the weekend here. Another work week in the books, and we got some headlines, and we'll get right to it. We start with Governor Evers uh, extending the stay-at-home order. Uh, so this came in uh, yesterday. The Safer at Home has been extended till May 26th. As you recall, the home order was from uh, or, uh, Safer at Home plan was going to uh, expire uh, coming up on the 24th, but uh, that has now been extended through 8 a.m. Tuesday, May 26, uh, moving forward. Uh, and uh, some things that have changed here that I want to go through, and we're going to look at the uh, website here. Is the businesses and activities ramping up services and operations? So, public libraries, public libraries may now provide curbside pickup of books and other library materials. Golf courses, golf courses may open again with restrictions, including scheduling and paying four tea times online or by phone. Clubhouses and pro shops must remain closed. Non essential, non essential businesses. Uh, may now be able to do uh, more things uh, as minimal uh, minimum basic operations, including deliveries, mailings, and curbside pickups. Non-essential businesses must notify workers of their whether they are necessary for minimal basic operations. Arts and craft stores uh, may offer an expanded curbside uh, uh, of pickup of materials necessary to make face masks or other uh, protective p uh, equipment. That's PPE. And uh, then the uh, the authentic or optional exterior work, uh, uh, and this uh, work is uh, exterior lawn care, lawn care or constant, uh, construction is now allowed under the extended order, so long as it can be done by one person. Safe uh, safe business practices uh, include essential businesses and operation must increase cleaning and dis uh, disinfect uh, practices. Uh, ensure that only necessary workers are present and adopt policies to prevent uh, uh, prevent the spread of uh, or exposure of COVID-19. Safer business practices for retailers and essential business and operations. Retail stores that remain open to the public as essential businesses and operations must limit the number of people in the store at one time, must provide proper spacing uh, for people waiting uh, to enter a store and a large store must offer at least two hours per week of dedication dedicated to the time for vulnerable uh, or vulnerable population supply chain essential businesses and operations that are essential because the supply manufacture or distribute goods and services of other essential businesses and operations can only continue operations that are necessary to those businesses they supply and all other operations must continue on other uh, areas uh, that are looking for changes here on the school front public and private k-12 through schools will remain closed for the remainder of the 2019-2020 school year local parks and open spaces local health officials may close uh, public parks and open spaces if it becomes too difficult to ensure social distancing or other areas are being mistreated travel people are strongly encouraged to stay uh, close to home not travel uh, to second homes or cabins and not travel out of state if not necessary tribal nations are uh, sovereign over their territory and can impose their own uh, restrictions and duration the changes in this order go in effect on april 24th this order will remain in effect until 8 a.m on may 26. some uh, quick questions here uh, uh fyi questions uh, and those uh, in included here uh, are these, and uh, it's avoiding social gatherings with people of all ages, uh, family dinners uh, with visitors in home or uh, non-essential workers, frequent and through hand washing, uh, must continue to uh, cover your coughs and sneezes, avoid touching one's face and others, and stay home. Uh, this is a rapidly changing and evolving situation, so make sure you stay up to date with the Wisconsin Department of Health. Uh, they've got a uh, website, Facebook, so, I mean, they're everywhere right now, uh, and we'll continue to do our part as well to keep you up to date on what's going on here with everything related to COVID here on the Talking Fitchburg updates uh, as we move forward. Uh, that's, uh, that's our goal here uh, as we uh, continue this. 
Speaking of that, uh, Dane County want to remind you of this, that assume that uh, you've been exposed to COVID-19, uh, if you are heading out uh, uh, and some best practices, what can you do? Uh, well, uh, we've got a couple different uh, steps here. Uh, if you come, uh, when you're uh, ready to come out of <laughs> isolation, uh, so let's just say you do get a fever or something, uh, you need to have no fever at least for 72 hours or three full days without the use of fever reduction medication and other symptoms like a cough or shortness of breath have uh, have uh, been uh, improving and it has been at least seven days since your first had symptoms. So if you're coming off of being sick, that's one of them. Other things, uh, monitor yourself uh, and symptoms uh, for uh, fever, cough, shortness of breath, and sore throat. I've also heard like uh, the loss uh, taste for food uh, also uh, can be included that isolate yourself uh, from others immediately if you do develop these symptoms. This doesn't mean uh, uh, and then you should not leave your house uh, and stay in a separate room if at all possible to avoid uh, spreading this virus. Uh, moving on to uh, covering your face, uh, we've been showing you best practices and uh, I saw this yesterday, I wanted to get it out there that if you don't have a sewing machine, uh, you still can make a, a, a cloth face uh, covering without uh, doing any sewing here uh, and it looks pretty easy actually, even I can do this and you guys know my uh, arts and crafts abilities from uh, past uh, segments, not so good. So. Uh, and it says here, uh, we talk about uh, cloth coverings during uh, the Facebook Live, uh, this happened yesterday. Uh, and you can use your own t-shirt if you got one. Uh, so uh, uh, it's not an excuse, uh, again, when you're having these masks, not an excuse to uh, not practice social distancing or hand washing, but can help protect uh, others from germs you may be spreading out without even knowing it. So it's easy, get a t-shirt, put the pattern in, place the cuts, and away you go. It is as simple as that. That information uh, is available. I shared it up on our social media site on Facebook, and certainly you can check it out with the Department of Health for more information. All right, Fitchburg Pharmacy, Family Pharmacy, is going to be helping Sue Hallmark uh, store with uh, this, uh, their um, postal services. Yeah, Fitchburg Family Pharmacy has partnered with the temporary shuttered Sue's Hallmark uh, Postal Service station to accept prepaid USPS mail packages and sell potion stamps. We uh, are ever changing our services platform to meet the needs of our community. This is coming from, uh, from uh, Thad at uh, uh, the pharmacy, at Fitchburg Family Pharmacy. And we know how much uh, the business community and local residents depend on the local postal service station. So it is important to be able to meet these needs. People can bring their packages to our location. They're located at 3050 Cahill, Maine, number six, Suffolk High Ridge Trail, uh, in the old, uh, near the old National Bank uh, business mail. Or, or, uh, business, uh, mail. Uh, so it says here, do not come into the pharmacy with your package. Call when you arrive and we will come and get the packages from you. And then remember that they uh, can only accept prepaid packages. We have no other way of tracking uh, uh, receipts and pickup times are fluid at this point, but we have been assured that the USPS will meet the demand should we have larger number of packages. So keep that in mind if you are planning on heading over there uh, that it does need to be prepaid and you take care of that through the U.S. Postal Service website. But pretty cool that that's step stepping up there and helping out the community, uh, making sure you get your... Um, uh, all your postage stuff taken care of. All right, moving on to permanent turn restrictions at uh, County PD McKee Road intersection with KPEC and Nesbitt Road. We talked about this with Steve uh, earlier this week. That uh, interview is up line. Uh, but uh, we've got a few uh, things here to tell you about. And we start with this. Starting uh, Saturday, uh, April 18th, permanent, permanent turn restrictions will occur on County PD McKee Road, Nesbitt Road, and KPEC Road intersection. Right turns in and out are still permitted as well as left turns from County PD to the local roadways. Uh, however, uh, that is gonna be again, uh, cut off uh, to, uh, through traffic uh, will be eliminated there. They'll also be putting in stop signs at the KPEC uh, Nesbitt Road there and removing 
all those stoplights due to the close proximity of the Verona Road Interstate, the traffic signals will be removed and said to add those stop signs. In addition, the right turn from eastbound County PD to Card Rock Road will remain open, but all other turns at that location uh, are closed uh, during this stage of the construction. And all turning movements are maintained at the McKee Road intersection with Fitrona Road and Commerce Park Drive. So no changes there. Uh, if you got any questions on this project or uh, if you haven't done it already, you can register for the weekly construction updates. Head over to their website, veronaroadproject.wi.gov. And of course, we have every Monday right here on our TF Updates, we get you the latest information on what's happening in the construction zone of the Verona Road uh, construction project. All right, brush and yard waste collection uh, coming up next week. Want to make sure you're ready for this. Uh, there's been some questions about if this is still happening, and the answer is yes. Yes, it is. Take a look here. Uh, and uh, if you have uh, your yard waste, it uh, should be placed on the curb by 6.30 a.m. on Monday morning and will be picked up uh, during the following week. And uh, that is weather permitting. Yard waste should be placed in a reusable containers or bags uh, or compacts, uh, compostable bags, uh, but not in the street. Do not tie the bags so that the contents can easily be identified uh, and uh, be emptied. In addition, uh, since we have uh, discouraging folks from coming to City Hall, it would be a good uh, to remind folks that uh, you can do your collection, you can check out the collection date, excuse me, on the website fitchburgwi.gov uh, backslash uh, solid waste and that calendar is available uh, for you uh, for uh, again all the all the time so no changes officially on that uh, the brush collection we just told you about a couple weeks ago said there's four yard waste collections uh, during the year so I want you to keep up on that all right moving on to the DNR DNR uh, or excuse me every uh, uh, the state parks uh, and uh, trails uh, being open. Want to make sure you're out there getting some uh, fresh air uh, as uh, you go. Uh, we know that uh, some of the state parks closed uh, because of uh, uh, too many people out there, uh, some vandalism and uh, trash being left behind. So all state uh, trails are open up at this point. So if you're heading out there, uh, you can uh, definitely uh, take on uh, some of the great uh, trails located uh, uh, in uh, in Wisconsin, and there is the list on the screen. Uh, do remember, though, that uh, please uh, practice good social distancing when you're out there, and uh, please uh, pick up your trash uh, and anything like that, uh, and let's keep these uh, trails open by uh, uh, respecting one another and uh, keeping it safe out there as you enjoy the nice weather. we got some nice weather again coming in this weekend, so it's a good time for that. Uh, now let's turn to the uh, boat launches. Uh, DNR uh, uh, in Wisconsin has launched uh, uh, or be closing uh, some of the uh, public uh, spaces uh, for boat launches. So it says here, all Department of Natural Resources boat launches within state properties are now closed to the public. Uh, the DNR boats uh, launches remain open at the stage. State properties that are open, though, shoreline fishing from, from closed state properties also prohibited. Many local municipalities also manage boat launches, so uh, please, please, please check uh, the local municipalities. And guess what? I've done that for you. And we've got a nice photo here of just one of those properties. So from Dane County, I have checked and checked and checked, and I cannot find anywhere that says that any of the boat launches in Dane County are closed. However, some of the piers are uh, being repaired. So piers are now in at Fish Camp, Goodland, and uh, William Lunny uh, Lake Farm County Park. Badcock piers aren't, uh, aren't in as they're being refurbished with new decking. Fishing is not allowed from these piers. Lake access permits can be purchased still uh, in advance uh, through the DNR's website, reservedane.com backslash permits. And remember to follow social distancing protocols uh, to learn or, or when you're out there uh, doing uh, some fishing. So again, we'll keep an eye on that, but I did not see that any of uh, the boat launches uh, in Dane County. Now again, state parks, they are the ones that are closed in Dane County would not have access. So uh, do your due diligence, check it out before you head out. All right, that does it for this update. I hope you have a safe and fun weekend. 
I know the stay at home orders are in place for a little bit longer. We've done a great job at staying at home. Keep up the great work, everybody. We're going to keep you up to date. Got some big news coming in uh, next week for you here. Uh, as far as Fact TV goes, I'll share that with you next week. Till then, this has been your Talking Fitchburg update on this Friday, uh, April 17th, 2020. Have a great day, everybody.